Okay, so tonight we are doing Mishle Yud Aleph Chaf Ches 1128. Uh, but this one's also uh, about wealth. When I say also, I mean that uh, we've been doing in Monday Night Mishle have been about wealth. And then the one that we did this morning in uh, in Morning Mishle is also about wealth. And in fact, Mufarshim on the puzzle tonight quote the ones, the puzzle we're doing in the mornings. So, um, so we're, we're kind of, a, you know, working on both at the same time. Okay. Boteach ba'ashro hu yipol uke'ale tzadikim yifrachu. Anyone want to try uh, taking a first, uh, oops, ah, don't look at the article. Anyone want to take a stab at it? Um, I could do the first half. Uh, this I don't know what v'chela means, but, okay. um, you know, like if you trust in your wealth, yeah, you'll fall. Okay, so there's no words you in there, right? Boteach ba'ashro, one who trusts Bi'ashro. In his wealth? In his wealth. Who ye pull? He will fall. He will fall. Okay. Uke ale. So ke is is uh is the prefix. And ke ale. Like go up, like rise, like rise up. Uh so ale is a uh, noun. It is interesting that it has the shorts of, of rise up, but it, there's a a uh, a noun ale. We use this in the poetry on Rosh Hashanah Kippur. Ke ale ni daf. I don't know. And like a leaf. Okay. Tzadikim yifrahu. The righteous. Yep, the righteous. They will flourish. Uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, so flourish is actually good. Uh, the literal translation, what's a perach? A flower. A flower, right? So we'll blossom. Awesome. Okay. You could say flourish. Okay, but blossom, I think, is a more literal one. All right, so very strange puzzle. By the way, I forgot to give a disclaimer here. Tonight might be a quick, uh, quick idea. Okay, I'm not sure. I always, I know, I always say that, and then we get a lot more of it than I think. But uh, we'll see. Okay, so the targum uh, only changes one thing. He says, "Dimesaber beutre hu nafel the ich tarfa tzadiki mafri." And so, "Dimesaber" means one who hopes in his wealth. Okay, so that's the only thing the targum adds. And then we have our English translations here. We oopsies. We have the art scroll who says, he who trusts his wealth, he will fall, but the righteous will sprout like foliage. Um, Living Knox says, he who trusts in his wealth will fall, but the righteous will bloom as a leaf. And the altar says, he who trusts in his wealth, he will fall, but like a leaf, the righteous will burgeon. Okay. We all prefer using different verbs for uh, blossoming, but I'm going to go ahead with blossom. Trust and hopes, different, the, the two translation, I mean, that's a that's a big difference between trusting yeah. and hoping. Yep, it is. Yeah. Okay, what are the questions? Yeah, I got I got plenty, but I'll start with one. Sure. Um, what's like? What, what are the two halves of the pasuk? I mean, like the second half doesn't really. Yeah. How are the two halves the of the pasuk? Uh, opposites. Yeah. Um. Oh, funny thing, by the way, I'm just gonna give you a spoiler. Uh, Rabbeinu Yona, for some reason, in the middle of oh, actually, sorry, it's not, it's not so strange. He gives us uh, this little uh, methodological tidbit. So the the method of this book is to show you the good path and its complete opposite. And the uh, consequences that come from the good path and, and its opposite. So that's a good vindication of, uh, of our approach here. But the thing that I like about this is he says um, that it's not just opposite, it's, it's complete opposites, you know? Uh, so I, I think that's in line with the approach that we took, but I just wanted to bring that support because I saw it. Yeah, Isaiah? Yeah, what does it mean to either trust or hope in, in your wealth? Okay, what does it mean to boteach, uh, which is trust or hope? In your wealth okay and then uh what is the difference uh yes Chaim. yeah a bit of a strange question i think but oh, i like strange questions but uh the the imagery of a leaf blossoming or yes kind of strange i would have thought flower i know so, right yeah okay leaf is, so, that's not what, what i think of I think of yeah what's up with a with a a leaf blossoming uh what can you articulate the strangeness other than saying what it should have been 
Yeah, I mean, favorite. I feel like... Leaves don't, don't blossom? <laughs> well, yeah, okay, yeah, leaves don't blossom, but yeah. But aside from leaves don't blossom, like, I feel like blossoming tends to, like, convey this, like, something's together, and then it, like, kind of opens or unfurls. Okay. Versus a leaf just kind of, like, as far as I'm aware, it just kind of just, like, gets bigger. <laughs> okay, so you, you don't have to... Okay, so you're, you're right. I, I shouldn't... The reason why I use blossom is because perach is a... Uh, is a, uh, a flower, uh, but, um, and so, so that's true. Um, I, I thought it's like, the thing that struck me as strange is like a leaf, it will blossom. Like when I, when I want, you know, if, if you want to describe, okay, is there, is there a puzzle that comes to anyone's mind about um, sadikim and uh, plant analogies? Like a vine? Oh yeah, okay, maybe. This one I feel like we say a lot though. At least I uh... Yeah. Oh, you never say, uh, yeah, 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 that uh, one. Yeah. Uh, Sadik uh, Katamar Yifra. A Sadik will will uh, will will blossom like a date palm. You know, something like magnificent. You know, if I said like uh, you know, and then there's other ones also. But like, if you say a Sadik will blossom like a leaf, it's just kind of underwhelming, right? You know, <laughs> it's, it's, so it's it's uh, like so. Uh, I'll, I'll add to this. You'd expect something different. Okay, uh, like, like a um, like like flowers, uh, or a tree, but not just a single leaf. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, who is next? Yeah, Rivki. Um. Yeah. Um. So, in terms of the tzaddik, are we assuming that he is like trusting in Hashem, or like it doesn't? Ah, really okay. He's trusting. Yeah. Okay, good. So let, I'm going to actually add that to the how are the two halves of the puzzle opposite. Okay, which is um, what uh, what is the like um, what do the tzaddikim do which is the opposite of trusting in their wealth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just think it's funny that the first half is like the Russia or whoever it is will fall. And then yeah. it leaves. Yeah, I just think that's funny. And then what? It's about leaves also. Yes. Yeah. I think that might be intentional. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, right. I mean, are you are you saying it because leaves also fall or? That actually would be really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, also, I just want to add for this question about uh, the opposite is because um, you said Russia. Um, so uh, who is the uh the person in the first half uh a russia or some russia or someone else someone else yeah ayala um so in what sense will he fall like what does that mean yeah he'll fall okay what uh let's see what does it mean that he will fall yeah yosef uh, what's the comparison between, like, wouldn't you think that if it says, oh, this guy falls, wouldn't you say the other guy rises? Okay, yeah, yeah. That's an opposites question, right? Which is that, yeah, like, right. what, it's, like, in between the Yifrach question and the, um, and the opposites question, but, like, isn't the opposite of falling rising? So why wouldn't you say that if you really wanted, like, the true opposite? Okay, good. So the Marshall doesn't really uh, involve opposites, right? Um, for example uh rising instead of falling or like withering instead of blooming right like that's usually the what we talk about sadikim yeah okay good yeah ariel you're muted um never mind i think my question was asked okay uh Chaim. yeah what kind of wealth are we talking about in this context yeah like, is this monetary? Is this... Uh, okay, like, yeah. Uh, the two that are coming to mind are the the ones at the end of that book that I always forget. Actually, wait, no. It's at the, oh, yeah. I think it's at the end. I forget where it's at the end of, but I know it's at the end of the Mora, right? Yeah, where, like, right. Said, like, you know, like, to, excuse me, where the wrong quotes of Sukim from, is it Yermi Yeah, I always Yermiyahu, forget. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, where it says, like, don't trust in, like, your knowledge or your body or any of those things. So, like, what are you what kind of wealth are you trusting in in the sense that like you're gonna fall and is it like anything other than like the wealth of, you know of, like you yeah know, so I'm just gonna I'm going to uh, just uh, remind ourselves here that um, ordinarily we would assume that it is wealth but 
every Pusuk that we've seen here uh, in the last couple of weeks from 23, no, from 24 and on has been about like wealth slash tzedakah, but has also been about uh, knowledge, right? So there is, it wouldn't be entirely strange if this were also uh, be able to be learned metaphorically, okay? So uh, is this uh, a metaphor? Yeah, Ariel? Uh, yeah, it, so the tzedikim here, um, are we talking about the, uh, you know, like, like, like the individual, like the, the actual tzedikim or the, uh, the qualities of, you know, the tzaddik or like the, um, yeah. the midos of tzaddikim. Okay. Who or, are the, who are the uh, tzaddikim in this context, right? Is this a full fledged uh, Mishlaic tzaddik or just a good guy or someone who does the actions of tzaddikim? Okay. And then I'm going to, oh yeah, I'll, I'll add a question if no one asked it, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Chaim? Yeah, kind of a sweeper question. But who's the audience in this Pasuk? Yeah. Um, is this someone who's like looking to hope in something and he's, you know, Shlomo's telling you what to hope in or what not to hope in? Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, who, yeah. Um, such that he needs, yeah, fine. Just who's the, yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, Rifki. Yeah, just question on Ariel's question. Mm -hmm. uh, why are we asking like who are the Sadiqim in this context? Because don't we usually have like a Mahalik of like a uh, like a Tzadik or a Rasha in Mishlei? Well, we always ask the question of is Mishlei using the term in a jargony way or is it using it in a generic way? You know, like sometimes Tzadik is just like the generic uh, good decision maker in Mishlei, uh, and sometimes it's a specific one. I don't know why Ariel asked it in terms of people who would just have Tzadikim qualities. Uh, I don't know if that was influenced from uh, leftover from the last pasuk. Um, or wait, was it the last Pasuk? It probably was. We did, we did a thing in the last Pasuk. I think it was either the last Pasuk or the Pasuk before that. Oh yeah, it was the last Pasuk. It was like people who are not full Tzadikim, but they're still like doing, uh, they're on that track, you know? So um, so I don't, I don't know why Ariel asked it that way exactly, but I, you know, at least the question of like, you know, what is the definition of Tzadik here? Yeah, Isaiah? Um, so is this person who's trusting in Batekba Asho, is this referring to like, is this a question of their mentality when they're making a decision or is it just like oh, okay. what, their, what their outlook is in general or something like that? Yeah, okay. So um, so uh, let's say, is this a specific decision? Is this a de decision or a mentality? Yeah. Good. Yeah, Yosef? Why does it say in the beginning it's Boteach but uh, Ashro, uh, which is singular, and then it says okay, good. class? Yeah, I was I was wondering uh, if someone was going to ask that. Um, uh, also, it adds on to our question on the leaf because a singular leaf shouldn't be compared to many tzaddikim. That's true. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Right? Okay, so it's why does? Though. Yeah, like it would have been nicer if it said tzaddikim. See, if it said tzaddikim will blossom like leaves. I think it also would have gotten, it would have addressed my, my weird muscle question of a singular leaf, you know, that, that's like a, a, an imagery of like tons of tzaddikim like blossoming, you know? But yeah. yeah. But also like, what do you mean? Like one leaf, many tzaddikim will. Yeah. <laughs> why is the first half, uh, why is the first half in, is the first half in singular and the second in plural? Moreover, why are many tzaddikim Sadiqim likened to a single leaf. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ariel. Yeah, I, I, I have a couple of questions. One is what does uh, what does uh, blossom mean over here? Yeah, we did not ask that. Yeah. Um, what does uh, uh, blossom mean in the mushal and the nimshal, right? Because it's a little unclear like what physically it's describing and then what does it stand for? And, and also what's the scenario? Did we ask yeah. that? So we did ask, is this a decision or a mentality? You know, like, is this talking about a specific case or is this like just a general mentality? So I think that's, that qualifies as asking uh, about the scenario. What okay. about the second half? In the second half? Uh, yeah. I assume the second half is talking about the same scenario as the first. 
or the same like the second's going to follow uh this half so well, why are you assuming that because otherwise why would they be in the same pasuk right like but it doesn't really out. say uh scenario like the first half says a scenario kind of so is the right no but what i'm saying though is that if the first half is describing a scenario then the second half and it's talking about a bad decision to make in that scenario then the second half would be talking about the good decision to make in that scenario and if the first half is, is talking about just the general way they relate to wealth the second half would also be talking about just the general way they relate to wealth so in the second half of the plus can you read it as like instead of falling he will rise up <laughs> like meaning in the second half no 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 Nope, that's just not the word. Yeah, uh, Isaiah? Do uh, what my question? Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it, I just don't know enough about Mishle, but to me, it seems like Sadiqim is entirely the wrong person to put here. Like, the person okay. who's not Botea for Ashro, it seems like yeah, that's just that's a, a good problem. question. Like a that, okay. taking... That's a really good question. Furthermore, why Sadiqim? Okay. Why not um, like Chachamim, right? Or something else? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my dad has a question now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you, if you can't trust or in your wealth, what should be your attitude towards your wealth? Okay. That's a good question. Okay. So um, I'm going to actually tack that onto the first question, which is what does Zagim do, which is the opposite of trusting their, in their wealth? Uh, like, what do they what do they trust in okay good okay i feel like these are all the major questions i can't think of any more um okay let's think for a minute <laughs> and then as usual we'll do our oh yeah Ayala, you got a question just a yeah just yeah. like methodology yeah it doesn't it doesn't make a difference that it says who you pull right that's just like a stylist i don't thing. think so yeah yeah um, I think uh, there's a funny thing. Hold on. All right. This is a totally random association that in Kohelas, there is a Pusuk. Let's see if I'm right. That talks about a tree falling and it uses the same Lashon. Um, okay. All right. This is not exactly the same. It says, Imi Malu. If the clouds fill with rain, then on the earth they will be emptied out. Uh, if a tree falls in the south, or in the north, that's that's a different thing. Never mind. All right. I was just associating. Yeah. Yes. One more thing. Yeah. This doesn't distinguish between ill-gotten gains and earned money. Right. right. Yeah. I'll add that here. Uh, what type of wealth are we talking about? Uh, is it a metaphor? Does it matter how the wealth was obtained? Right. Okay, so let us think. And then as usual, we will take the full-fledged uh, ideas first. Okay, anyone have a full-fledged idea or close to full idea? Is this the first? No one has an idea? <laughs> we can take more time. I think the leaf like uh, metaphor is really throwing me through a yeah. little bit. The, I, I, if, I, if I could give a, uh, some recommendation here, I would say focus on the first half um, in this case, because I think that is something that we can easily uh, think about. Oh, whoa, when did Zach and Avital and my mom show up? <laughs> I didn't realize that. Were they there the whole time? Yeah, okay. Nice, welcome. Okay. 
I have like one answer to a question, but I definitely don't have. Like, okay, sure. Question. I'll open it up to people who have half approaches. I mean, if, if no one has a full approach. Yeah. So I guess I could just say it's very quick. Sure. Um, I was just thinking like, why is it not say like a specific person for the first half? Um, and like, we obviously have this idea. It's a very common idea that like, you're not supposed to trust in your own wealth. Like you're really supposed to recognize where everything comes from. Like it's a very classic Jewish idea. Yeah. And maybe I was thinking like the reason why it doesn't say specifically who it is in the first half and it's specifying that Sadiqim are in the second half of the Pasuk is to show that like, it's a much more common mistake than we think. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I think it goes with like the previous Pasuk we've been doing because like it's been talking about like Sadaka and money and that and like yeah. all those vibes. So yeah. I think that like by saying like, oh, like anyone can fall into this trap. Like it's like, yeah. no, you also Can't fall into this trap more like fall out of the trap. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, good. I think that's actually a good explanation or a good working assumption here about uh, why it doesn't specify a Russia, a wicked person in the first half, because anyone could fall into that trap. And I'm sure if I could think about it, I'm sure if anyone has an example of a time where a tzaddik fell into this trap, That'd be nice to quote just so we can have it on uh, on record, uh, or or not necessarily tzaddik, but someone who's like good. Yeah, Yosef. Okay, so maybe the like opposites here um, is like Potech Basra who is saying that really like the wealth is like a is like a false like floor. Like it's really like you think it's really there even though it's like, okay. the thing, and so therefore yeah. he's gonna like fall right, and it's not like a thing that can be dependent on because it's yeah. right yeah but um the leaf i want to say or yeah free i don't know why leaf but i'm i'm gonna go with um blossom here but i think the opposite of falling they're going to the like all the way the opposite which is that the tzaddik the person who doesn't depend i don't know why tzaddik yet but the person who doesn't depend on their money will um will have opportunity which is like the direct opposite of falling meaning falling means that you lose everything and you don't have your, like your position anymore mm -hmm. but uh yifrachu means that you have new opportunity right okay it's not just you will do well but there will be more avenues to success as well uh-huh okay so i think let me there are a couple of moving pieces here okay so one thing which i want to add on to question three is what type of falling right so like you said it's like a false uh, false floor that like you know, he thinks it's solid and, and he just like falls through. Um, but I think there are other ways to conceptualize falling, but I, that, that was a good question. Um, and did you explain why he falls? Um, because what, what's going to happen is that he's going to, uh, either the money will go away, right? Okay. Because money's, yeah. just, it's a temporary thing or, um, yeah, I mean, that, I think that's the main thing. So it could just go away is that it's yeah. not an, a permanent thing. It's not a okay. dependent thing okay yeah so let me just quote i, I mentioned this at the beginning of sheer uh that the puzzle we're working on in the morning uh we're, we're only on day one of this puzzle uh but the puzzle we're working on in the morning um i'm just gonna read you the one the one the single of the mafarshan that we've done so far uh this is um actually wanna, let, me, let me open it up on my uh, uh document here so the one we did this morning is um Al tiga lahashir min binascha chadal. Do not toil or strain to become rich. From your understanding, cease. Hataif enecha bo veeneno. If you cast your eyes upon it, it's talking about the wealth. It will not be there. Ki asa yase lo kenafaim. It will make wings for itself. Kenesher ya uf hatamaim. It will fly away like a uh, griffin vulture uh, into the sky. <laughs> okay, so we said there. So we, we have a bunch of approaches, but we only did one of them of Arshim. And that was Matudas David who says what you said just now, Yosef. He says, uh, um, he says, Hataif, it will fly away. Rotalamar, im beta, im beta bata ba osher, vhi hu davar miskayim. Ma bata. Bata, say, say it again. Ma, oh, ma bata, son. Yeah, ma bata ba osher. What profit is there in wealth? Vhi hu davar hamiskayim. Is it something that lasts forever? Hello, Pami Avod Basha Akala. Won't it sometimes be lost in a uh, like a, a instantaneous moment? Um, as, as you're moving your eyes to look at it, it's no longer there. It will be destroyed instantly. It's as if it made wings for itself to fly away from you, quickly. Like this bird, and that it quickly goes away and you, you don't see it anymore. So, so the guy, um, 
the guy hold on a second. Uh, yeah so the guy is uh sees um the guy trusts in his wealth that it will be there forever right or that it'll be there permanently or that he can rely on it and uh and the nature of wealth is that it can vanish really really quickly so so the fact that he relies on it to be there uh, is what caused him to like put his weight on it, so to speak, and then like it, it falls, it falls right. aside. Okay. Now explain to me what you were saying about the creating opportunities with the study. So, so I was wondering like, why you would go with blossoming and not just like stays. But yeah. if you think about it, like one of the worst losses, like a complete loss would be someone who like, let's just take financially, right? Someone who um, loses all their money and loses all their position and power, right? Yeah. And, loses, and doesn't have any more avenues to success. So if you, so the opposite would be someone who not only succeeds, but they also, um, they also gain new ways of success. So blossoming means like, I was just like thinking about it, like maybe that's like, they're just like bursting like in all, in like multiple directions, right? Yeah, free flow is like opening in more, and more, more than one direction, right? I think, so can you just explain to me what, so you're learning this as a, I guess this could be a mentality or a decision, but what are the type you doing differently? I understand that they are not trusting in their wealth, but like, what can you just flesh out in, in specific terms? Like what do the type you can do with the wealth that's different than what this guy does? Cause I'm sure this guy also like yeah. is, yeah. you know, you, you, you have really, really successful uh, entrepreneurs who make that mistake and they are like branching out and, and, uh, and stuff. Right. Yeah. No, that's a good question. Okay. Bye. Okay. So you, you can think about that. We can come back to you. Okay. Uh, Chaim. Can I try to answer that question? Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead, Ayala. So to add on to Yosef's approach, maybe like yeah. the other half of the pasuk, the second half, is saying. I was thinking maybe the analogy of the leaf is like, that's like the end of the tree. Like that's like what's supporting the leaf is the entire ah. tree, and the tree okay, has good. roots and like yeah everything. And also, yeah. I was thinking maybe that's why it's using the term tzaddik. Yeah. Because a tzaddik is someone who's invested in the system, which ends yeah. up supporting him. Okay. So, it's saying, so not the opposite as like what the Sadiq is doing with his wealth, but the opposite is what he's trusting in. Maybe. Ah, okay. And like, he's trusting in the system and because it's like so grounded, it's going to end up like, he's going to end up blossoming and flourishing. From it. Okay. So I, I like that idea. And I think we need to elaborate on it. Okay. Uh, because what does it mean? What exactly is the difference between trusting in this and trusting in the system, trusting in the wealth and trusting in the system? And I think we need to just do a like quick definition of trust. What we mean by bitakon here? Can I can I actually add on to that? Also, yeah. Um, I, I I'm not sure exactly what Yosef is, uh, you know, where he's getting at in the first half. But I mean, I would kind of go further and say that, you know, when someone trusts in his wealth, you know, maybe he uses his wealth to get power, you know. Um, and you know, he could use it as like leverage to like buy people or whatever, okay. but you know, where the tzaddik, you know, he has like a system where he uses his, um, you know, uh, I guess righteous activities or actions and just the way of, of his lifestyle, it could be through, you know, um, integrity and, you know, all that good stuff, you know, which creates like a stronger, um, you know, uh, foundation in that, in that relationship. These are all too abstract for me. I, I want, I want, I want specifics. Can anyone uh, give me specifics here? I mean, you can jump in if you uh, have anything. Specifics for example. Well, specifics for what? What are these two people doing differently? Okay. Like, I can give you an example. I understand the mistake of like treating as though your wealth is going to be there at, at all times. Like that, that mistake is very clear to me. And I understand that the studying are not doing that. It seems, but it seems like we're trying to say that they're doing something else instead. What yeah. is that something else? So can uh, I give an example? Sure. Okay. So like, and this is specific to like the real estate industry right now, because um, mm -hmm. this is what's happening like in real time. Like there's this company um, out there, Compass Realty, and they would just buy market shares. They would just buy agents, you know, and just buy them with money versus in our company, we don't buy people with money. We, we, we uh, build relationships with them through our culture and integrity mm -hmm. and trust. That's more, you know, people coming through our company with that versus money, you know, money is not, you know, it doesn't have like a stronger tie to, you know, coming into the company through culture and trust. Okay. So then so, that, that's saying that the Tzadikim trusts in the process of building uh, a sustainable, sustainable system. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So the, the other thing also, though, that might actually be a different idea. Hold on. That might what? be a different oh. idea because, <laughs> because that would really be saying, I don't know, maybe, maybe it could work out. I don't want to put this in especially, specifically in Ayala's, uh, Ayala's mouth, but uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Chaim, what were you going to say? Yeah, um, I'm kind of like, like tempted to like half cheat from what I was saying this morning, if that's okay. That's fine. You can, okay. you can plagiarize yourself, yeah. Okay, okay. And then, and then I kind of want to go out on a limb, haha, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and try to like maybe like look at Sadiq in a little bit of a different light than I think, oh, like we tend to maybe look at him, and I'm okay. maybe I'm on that. But for the first half, I just want to say, sim similarly to what I was saying this morning, that like trusting in your hope, trusting in your hopes, trusting in your wealth is like, is like a form of fantasy. If not like the ultimate form of right. fantasy, like, you know, like, 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 like Rebbe's talked about it. Like, um, like some, like, like, uh, if you view money as anything other than the ultimate means, then, uh, it automatically, you're viewing it in the wrong way. So like, if you're trusting and hoping in your wealth, then you're automatically viewing it as like similar to things like, to like what a lot of people were saying as something to, that's something, something other than what it actually is, in which case automatically, as soon as one thing goes wrong, which is bound to happen, um, because you're relating to it in the wrong way, um, your entire like like you know system will like fall apart. Yeah. Um, and then <clears throat> to go to the opposite extreme is I think the tzaddik. So the way I'm uh, the way I'm thinking about the tzaddik right now, um, and I think it's helping that we're doing hilchot tzedakah also. Um, yeah. Is that similar to like the way like same way that, like tzedakah? I think if I'm remembering correctly, tzedakah is like doing what's proper for the person. Or for right. the thing, well, like we said, there's like sedaka by like plants, even the like you right. like you know you take care of it in its in its way. So yeah. the way I'm thinking about a tzaddik in like this sense, and I guess in more of a general sense, is like a tzaddik is somebody who interacts with things in the way that they're meant to be interacted with. So if he views money, you know, completely opposite from this other guy, and views it as sim simply a means, um, then he's view then he's then he's working with it in its own you know framework, and then uh, the the leaf and blossoming part i'm still a little bit lost on yeah but you know i think like that's like a way of viewing the sonic in the sense okay i think if you if you got if you had more knowledge about the role of the leaf then your idea would be complete okay but uh i i uh wait, wait, I'll, wait. I'll, like, in, like the anatomy of a tree yeah oh then i have a thought then oh yeah um, okay well i mean leaves like leaves are what take in the energy um I, th I think, unless I'm really wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that like leaves are kind of like the solar panels for the tree. Okay, that, um, that is true. I, I uh, let me let me direct you to another thing. Okay, leaves in relation to the fruit. They come before the fruit. That is true. I don't know. Okay, fine. All right, hold on. Uh, so you said so you can relate to uh, to everyone based on their needs. And dot dot dot. So we'll leave that as dot 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 for now. Okay. All right. I lost the track of the order. Isaiah is next. Okay. Well, let's just, let's just get everything out, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So to my first half, I'd say it's pretty similar to what other people are saying. Okay. Um, and it's that like a person who's betayev but ashro, so they they believe that their financial state is just like going to continue into perpetuity. Like okay. they they aren't. They aren't subject to like a you know becoming impoverished yeah. or something like that so what do they practically do or not do they don't make financial plans for the future in yeah. order to maintain a secure state but the, the tzaddikim what are they they're really at this yeah. the, the person who's who is uh like making the decision the audience is someone who wants to make like a Takam type choice, which is save money for the future. And that will allow them to not be worried about money and become Sadiqim because they've made plans and had financial wealth and they blossomed into Sadiqim because they weren't impoverished throughout their lives. Okay. So I agree that that's what the Sadiqim will do. I, for some reason, I'm not seeing it as like clicking with this muscle. Does it feels like a forced muscle, you know? Yeah. It's tough. So can you reset uh, Isaiah's idea again? I'm, I'm so just Isaiah's saying that the, 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 one of the symptoms of trusting in your wealth is that you believe it's going to be there forever. And once you believe that it's going to be there forever, so this is like a different approach than what Chaim was saying. Chaim was saying, all right, well, I'll say Isaiah's first. You believe it's going to be there forever, so you don't plan for the future. You know, like I'm, I, you say I was born in a millionaire family, right? Or like this industry will always be here or whatever it is. 
And so you don't plan for the future and therefore the things do change and then things fall apart and you're going to get caught and you're not going to have any plans. You know, uh, Chaim's uh, approach to contrast it with this is that, um, that the guy is making money into something other than what it really is. You know, that money is power. Money is, you know, going to get him to be, uh, you know, is going to save him. And because he's like expecting stuff out of money that it doesn't, it can't really give him, then, uh, then he'll fall. Can I, can I tweak what you wrote down for the Tzaddik part? In, in yeah. my, I, I wasn't really saying, I mean, while I agree that that's what the Tzaddik does, but I was really saying specifically in this post, like that the Tzaddik is relating to money in its, in its proper frame. Okay. Like that's really more like the. the okay. All right. So that is a true idea. I don't know if you could say that the Tzaddik is relating to the money with, uh, you're trying to say that the way he relates to money is what makes him a Tzaddik? No, no. Oh. I'm saying that, that in his framework of viewing things in the in the proper set of like you know okay. the way of viewing things he now doesn't fall into this trap because he doesn't view it as a as you know a means for happiness or okay. you know, something like that he views it simply as like i want to eat today so i have to yeah. make money okay all right that, 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 that's good all right um okay um i'll be tall could you actually come back to me like after the next person sure. i just want to finish like my thought yeah. all right yeah all right uh, did I defend um, my okay. idea against the muscle? Sure. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so I think the reason that it says, well, first of all, ye pull is because the guy will at some point come across a financial thing that he didn't plan for. And so he'll become impoverished okay. because he didn't make plans for the future. And what does it mean that Tzadikim will, like leaves that Tzadikim will blossom is that they, they will be like, a, the leaf will like stick around. It won't like fall off the tree. And it will allow the fruit to blossom in the future. So, like, okay. their wealth will be sustained. Okay. And then so, it will allow the city. All right. So, so because Sadiqim will plan for the future, uh, they, like leaves, will stick around and allow the fruit to develop. Okay. That's a good idea. Let's just think about that for one second here. So, yeah, so that's interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm just grappling with, the, with, with why these are in one pasuk here. So let's just go back to the pasuk. So the first one is, a, is, is the mistake that the guy thinks that the wealth will be there forever and he therefore doesn't plan and therefore there will be something that he doesn't foresee that caused him to lose his wealth. And that's like the equivalent of like losing the fruit, right? In, in, if you're going to extend the tree mushroom to the first uh, half, I think. Right, but the tzaddikim, they do um, plan, and that's what allows the leaf to grow, which is then going to protect the fruit when it uh, when it when it blossoms. Okay, that's the closest thing we have to a full idea right now. <laughs> okay, that's the. What, what What do you mean by a leaf is going to stick around? Stick around. Um, because it's gonna it's gonna remain there while the fruit is growing uh, inside of it. Or like under or behind it or whatever. <laughs> I was like inside it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, wouldn't that be that the that the fruit will blossom, not that the tzaddik will blossom? I'm yeah. Yeah. So I I th that, that I'm I'm sensing that there's a, a a subtle idea here that that ordinarily what we would care about in this muscle is the fruit, but what this is saying is that the is is the leaves blossoming, right? And so that, that's the one thing I feel like we're lacking in this idea, which is what, why the emphasis on the leaf? Again, I, it, the leaf sticks out like a sore thumb. I know that's a mixing of a muscle, but like it really does not sound like a good muscle, you know? So I feel like in order, the test of our idea is going to be, does this, does the idea make the muscle sound like it actually makes sense? I have an idea on the leaf and the, and, and the fruit. Okay. I think this is true, but now I'm remembering like, at least, you know, those like, you know, those like helicopter leaves. Yeah. So like they carry the seeds inside of them. And like, yeah. I think like that's true. I don't know if it's true across the board. I'm like, I don't think it's true across the board. <laughs> geez. Okay. I think most leaves don't, don't carry the seeds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are we done? Okay. So I think it's different than the other ideas. Yay. But, okay. <laughs> <A pressure laughs> I'm approach, not yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I was just thinking about like leaves in general, obviously I was like, Next to fall, I was just thinking, okay, like the leaves fall. And yeah. I was just thinking in terms of righteousness, when you have um, a tzaddik almost, when it blossoms, right, the leaves actually do fall off. But what does it leave behind? It leaves behind fruit or whatever it is. Like that's yeah. when the leaves fall off. 
and even like I was thinking in terms of like autumn, oh, uh-huh. just not to be confused with fall. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like it looks to us as if the tree is dying, but really obviously throughout the year, it's like, and even during the winter, it's like gearing itself up for the summer to be able to blossom all over again. Yeah. Um, versus somebody who um, has this trust or hope in wealth, when it's talking about the falling of that, because there's no, this kind of like goes into Ayala's idea, there's no like tree holding the whole thing up. There's nothing behind it so much that when the trust is in the leaf, that's what falls. N- meaning mm-hmm. like not in terms of the tzaddik, in terms of when there's really no whole tree behind this leaf. Like that's what the tzaddik yeah. is, that he is not just a leaf, he's part of the whole system and he's invested in the system. Um, and yeah, that part about it falling down is for somebody who holds, who holds his hopes and money that's going to be the end of it when he falls like that'll be it versus yeah. like this whole leaf idea with it when it falls behind it's leaving something like much more productive like fruit or whatever it is okay uh so hold on just a second so when when the first guy falls he leaves nothing behind when the sadiq like we even call it blossoming, but like that blossoming is a lot of times the leaves falling down. Yeah. Then the entire system, that's just part of the system of the entire tree. That's part of the system of the entire tree. Yeah. Um, we just have to fill in the nimshal a little bit more, I think. So what, what does that mean practically? Like uh, in, in terms of their decision-making or in terms of the effect on the society? Um, I think part of it is like, making sure that you're a part of i don't know if it's something bigger than yourself but something that has like fruit beyond yeah one thing you're looking at yeah yeah okay that's that's a good idea let's let that percolate a little bit okay next my dad you're on mute you're on mute Okay, you're still on mute. All right, let me, I, I will unmute you. Uh, I think I can unmute you. I can ask to unmute. Okay. Okay, yeah. yes. yes. So I, uh, I'm looking at something different that the trust, um, the trust in the wealth that the, the person experiences. I think, I think the trust is that the wealth will bring them happiness. Okay, yeah. And that, um, you know, that, um, I th- you know, some people have wealth and lose it, and some people have wealth and maintain it. But many, many people fall into the trap that if I only had the money, then everything would be okay. Right. And, and you know, go, going to the second part of the Pasuk, the, the Tzadik puts money in its own, in its proper place. Mm-hmm. That there, are, you know, the, the, the money is not the the key to the happiness. As a matter of fact, the leaf. If you look at the leaf, the leaf is the the least significant part of a tree. You look at a tree; they have roots, they have right. a trunk, they have right. branches. The leaf is a little thing. It's, right. It, and but but if you appreciate it for what it is, um, you know, uh, you know, then it's it's more it it blossoms. Okay, yeah. So that that's uh, I, I like that idea. That that's uh, close to Chaim's idea, which is that they um, that makes it sound like Chaim is also my dad. But <laughs> okay, um, so um, that uh, that he has a distorted. Uh, the first guy has a distorted view of the wealth that it's going to bring him happiness, and uh, and that's regardless of how they spend it. Uh, but the the crash is going to come from the fantasy. Still not clear on the second half. I understand. That. I, I I like what you said about the leaf being not being uh, the leaf being the, the least significant part of the tree. Uh, I I'm still uh, still not quite clear on the idea. Okay, Yosef, Ariel, Zach, and then I want to look at some of Harshim. Okay, so I think I could clarify the second half. And okay. so I think that the idea is that the the like pers- it's like okay, fine. Here's the first thing I want to say is that by the tzaddik, since he since he um since his whole framework is not in terms of his wealth right yeah. right he will first of all find other opportunities and find other sources of dependence right okay and so therefore like relationships and right. and um other things like that and therefore he will be able to 
like he'll sustain he'll do fine even if one thing doesn't do well but i think the real thing that he will be um he will blossom is that the idea that since his priorities are not in his wealth at all right um he won't even if his wealth is lost it won't really affect him Mm -hmm. right and so therefore and so therefore he'll do fine and no matter what situation he's in he can really just prosper because Mm -hmm. he's since he's not really like tied on to anything right right? yeah and therefore but someone who whose like framework is stuck to wealth right it they can't do well in a situation where they lose their wealth Mm -hmm. right and they'll just collapse like they won't yeah won't be able to go anywhere yeah okay somehow the way the 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 way you're saying it now um something clicked with the uh with what ayala was saying about the uh about the tree that um, and what you were saying about the examples is that the, so the tzaddik is not depending on the wealth. He really realizes he's part of the system. And there's many aspects of the system that are there that are much, much more stable than the wealth. And that's like the branches and the trunk and the roots and all and the forest, you know, like this entire like the entire the entire thing. So 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 you're saying that there's uh, there's two manifestations of that. One is that he um, is drawing from more you know, uh, a more diverse, uh, um, uh, he's, yeah, he's drawing from, <laughs> he's attached to something that's more, that has roots, you know, so to speak. Uh, and, uh, and also, uh, if the thing he has uh, falls away, then he, uh, it, 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 no, I think I'm saying the same idea. You said it well, though. <laughs> I, I, I got a, there, there's one of the Mepharshim who says something very similar to this, which is, uh, well, I'll have to look at that and see if it, it uh, tops it off. Okay, uh, uh, that's good. Ariel? Yeah, so um, so I did some research on on the function of the leaf. Oh. And I you. think we got, that- We got um, a budding scientist in our midst. A yeah. Botanist, yeah. I, I, I'm going to change my current team. Budding scientist. <laughs> so um, I'll just quote you this thing. All leaves change sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. The leaves are the primary food making part of the plant. Leaves absorb carbon dioxide from the air, combine it with water that makes, uh, uh, that makes through the roots of the plants to make food. Uh, you know, like sugar molecule known as glucose and release oxygen into the air. So essentially like the purpose, the function of the leaf is so that it gives energy to the root. Yeah, it's very and nice I, that Wikipedia knows that, but uh, I don't know if Shlomo knew that. So um, <laughs> that's why that's why I rejected Chaim but, Singh, by the way, his initial uh, thing. Okay, fine. It doesn't I, I really. I have no idea. So that, I, 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 you know, like, like, you know, yes, they knew that, that the trees need to be in the sun, but they, uh, I don't think they knew that it took energy. I think they yeah, thought that so the, I didn't, I didn't the sun pulls point, yeah. the trees up out of the ground. I think that was actually their, at least in, uh, for much of history, that was it. Yeah. Right, but the I I think that you know I think that the idea can still you know be there because if, if you just say that you know um, you know because because I think the way we were looking at blossoming and flourishing is like we don't normally view a leaf as like something that blossoms, right? We kind of view you know I don't know like a, I don't know like a rose that blossoms or like whatever, right? But maybe you could say that uh, I don't know whatever blossoms. Okay, so the uh, maybe you could say that the leaf uh, blossoming is just with the leaves the leaf's purpose uh is what blossoms it's like the leaf's uh objective or, or functions which blossoms which ultimately creates you know um some sort of you know na- natural whatever uh so that you know it, it functions for the for the rest of the tree I mean, like the reality is they knew that the trees are supposed to be, you know, up in the air with the leaves and somehow that it results in a certain, um, you know, um, consequence. Like they must have known something like that. So like the per- the point is like they knew that the leaf had a specific purpose and it blossomed within that purpose. Like right. it had a, it had a specific, uh, right. you know, uh, flourishness within the leaf. Right. So you're saying that the leaf, so I being like leaves just means that they achieve their, their purpose. Um, I'm saying, I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying they, well, what do you mean achieve this purpose? I was just trying to understand what you were saying. I, I don't know what you were saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I, I'm just pointing out that, you know, um, within the, the natural law of a leaf, 
like saying that the leaf blossoms just means that it's fulfilling it's fulfilling its its function its purpose right right so maybe you can translate that into a tzaddik who lives within a certain lifestyle even though it may be uh something small and minute yeah ultimately his very lifestyle will affect uh the world in a much larger way or greater way okay. just like a leaf okay all right i i see that. That, that that's a good uh, that's a good approach so now the question is what does that have to do with the trusting in your wealth like now it seems like the two halves of the puzzle are are not really talking about the same subject but i like that second half let me just write that down so ariel for the second half sadikim are developing in accordance with their purpose uh, and even if that isn't some big grand thing, uh, like a leaf, it will still have a beneficial effect. Effect, yeah. And maybe you could say the answer to uh, you know the relationship between the first half of the puzzle. Maybe you could say that if you really look at a leaf, like it's just a little thing. It's like yeah. a tiny little thing that you may not necessarily think that it'll affect the world, but in reality, you know, that little leaf is ultimately what, you know, sustains the roots. Right. Right. You know, so, but the opposite extreme, you know, is like money, you know, money, if you have money, you have power. Uh -huh. you know, that's just how people uh -huh. view the world, right? right? Money is power. Right. So if you say that, then, um, you know, and and I think this is it's funny when I first thought of this puzzle, I was going to combine this with what Chaim said and what like Ayala said, mm -hmm. uh, because like at the end of the day, like money is an illusion to power, right? But it's not power itself. So like you may think that it's uh, ultimately going to get you what you want, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's the little things that are, you know that can make the greatest impact too. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, uh, that's a, that's a good approach. I hear that. Okay. Good. All right, Zach, and then we'll look at some of Farshim and then try to like uh, crystallize the ideas that are developing. Um, all right, so I actually have two ideas. Um, the first one is really, it's almost like a summary of uh, almost like a bunch of the ideas here okay. kind of mushed together. Um, uh, but I feel like it's, uh, yeah, it might summarize it for some and add okay, sure. useful pieces and parts to harvest for others. Um, but I feel like this um, uh, this Pusik is talking about surviving tough times and having the grit to do so. Okay. Um, and so essentially we divide into two categories. And actually I just happened to see like a mini clip from like a TED Talk, TED talk today of, uh, or I think it was a TED Talk, but of a woman explaining her research on grit and how that's the number one determinant according to her research. Was it one. Angela Duckworth? Uh, it might be. It must have uh, been. I have that book also. Okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm just looking over on myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Like, <laughs> it's so yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she was talking about how the number one determining factor for success was grit and mm -hmm. how the way to develop grit was to have long-term goals and values mm. as opposed to like a certain level of short-sighted tangible things yeah and so i feel like that's the dividing factor here is you have um you have you have people who trust in in as short-term things as it gets which is like money and wealth and it's like super tangible and not value-oriented or long-term and you have righteous people who um who focus on long-term values um and and goals and the difference is what's going to happen after tough times and so what happens when a tree hits tough times like winter comes and it loses all its leaves and that's the tough time and some trees die like that's the reality is some mm -hmm. trees die and how do you know if a tree died or if it didn't die? When the spring comes, the one that didn't die is the one where all the leaves come out. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's the, that's like the, the analogy here is that with the mindset of 
the long-term value or, oriented goals, you'll after those tough times, you'll have had the grit to blossom again. Okay. So are you making a, just, I, I, this is not about your main idea, but are you making like an ingeniously simple move that, that this is really describing him like a tree falling or am I just misreading that? Um, no, that, that, okay. I was mainly focusing on the leaf uh, <laughs> okay, uh, on, right. on the tree. Right, I, wonder, I, wonder if we <laughs> I do it. like that as the, like, but that's more of like a pun than a, <laughs> yeah. And well, it answers, I, I think, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not joking because it, uh, it, it does, um, it does, it would answer the question about where is the tree metaphor in the first half, you know? Right. Um, that is true. That is yeah. true. I didn't think but, uh, of that, but that is true. All right, fine. So I'll, I'll just write what you had, which is that the, um, the, the first guy will get swept away, right? Uh, sw swept away because, uh, okay, well, I don't need to say because, uh, whereas the, 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 the Sadiq, the the Sadiqim may lose a great deal of their external, um, like uh, you know, um, resources. Resources, yeah, but but they will re they'll blossom again, blossom again, uh, because they are because the the tree is still alive. Okay. Okay, I like I like yeah, that I mean, idea with yeah, the adversity thing. Yeah, meaning they'll uh, blossom again because they're they developed grit because of their tzaddik like qualities. Yeah. Okay. AKA uh tzaddik grit. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a good Michelade t shirt. Tzaddik yeah. grit. We'll we'll publish um, that. We'll make our own TED talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Second idea. Um okay. So second idea is basically um how it, it talks about the like how one relates to others um and so um in in the first half when a person is um basically just looking to take and to be like kind of um self-oriented in their mindset toward the world then the only things that they can trust on trust in is the things that they've developed themselves Mm -hmm. Meaning when you have a self-oriented mindset, you cannot trust in people. And really, if you think about it, trust for inanimate objects kind of doesn't make sense. It's like oxymoronic, like they're, they don't have intention. But, um, but the fact that they've developed a worldview where everything is kind of for them, they cannot develop trust in other people. So all they have left to trust is their wealth. Mm -hmm. Whereas a, a tzaddik they have a mindset in a relationship where they're trying to support all of those around them. And so because of that, they're able to actually trust in the people around them and to trust in, 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 a, in a larger system, in a larger network, which also I think is why he chose a metaphor of a leaf, um, which is that leaves we can look at this in a scientific way, or we could look at it from a beautiful perspective, but we'll start with a beautiful one, but leaves are beautiful together. You know, mm -hmm. you don't see a tree with one leaf on it, right. you know, and say, Oh, that's a nice tree. You see a tree with many leaves. So right. it's, it's together that they fill their function yeah. as leaves. Yeah. Um, yeah. And scientifically as well, like to get nutrients, you know, you need many leaves. Right. Um, and so the leaf, is unique in the sense that it gains its power in a group rather than as a, yeah. a single. Okay, group. I like that idea. Okay, good. All right, Chaim, and then I want to look at Mepharshim, and then we'll, we'll use the Mepharshim to sort out whatever the pieces of the ideas are here. Yeah, I want to jump on to the last idea Zach was talking about, because yeah. I, uh, I was thinking about the relationship between a fruit and a leaf, and then I had an idea, and then I cheated and looked it up. And okay. <laughs> but um, so leaves, as they are the, uh, the, the intake of the, the energy source, right, for the tree, then the only way that the fruit is going to get that kind of energy is from the leaves as well. So the leaves are, are, and in, and in like a big group, like, um, like Zach was saying, like they need to help create other leaves as well. And not just the fruit, which is like, kind of like, I'm thinking of like, like children or stuff like that, but they also need, and like future trees and stuff. They also need to help create other leaves to, um, you know, keep the system alive and keep, you know, amassing more and more yeah. like, people doing the right thing so in that sense it's like a it's like a, a pro cyclical like nature of like leaves mm -hmm. making leaves making fruit like working out the whole system in that sense 
Okay, that, that's, uh, that, that works out with the tree metaphor. I'm glad you checked the facts. Okay, all right, so let us, um, uh, I wanna find one of the Mufarshim is the closest to what most people have said. Um, I believe it is Sadia Gaon. Let's see if it's Sadia Gaon. He says, it might be multiple ones, but I think it's Sadia Gaon. Or no, I mean, I think it's one of them. So he says, Masha Asa Asa Mashal Ba'ale, Ajna Asa Hefek Botech Ba'ashal Hu Yipol. So he says, uh, the fact that he made the metaphor into a leaf and made the opposite, someone who trusts in his wealth and he'll fall, is the tzaddikim do not trust in themselves. It's because they don't see themselves as, uh, they don't trust in themselves and they don't see themselves as a essence or as the root or even a branch, uh, but rather as a branch or even a light leaf. Kamosh Amar Eov, Ha'ale Nidaf Ta'arots. Uh, will the uh, the uh, blown away leaf uh, rejoice? So he gives three examples of people who trusted in their wealth and were lost. Korach, which I know he was wealthy. I don't. I feel like trusting in his wealth was not his problem. Sancheriv, which I don't know if it was he trusted in his power, and then Haman definitely trusted in his wealth, power, prestige. Okay, but that first part is the part that I really liked. Okay, that that has to do with whether you're trusting in yourself or others. And that really fits with Zach's idea, right? Uh, I mean, he doesn't spell out the whole tree thing, but he's saying they don't trust in, and it's almost exactly what Zach said in a second idea, right? That the, um, the first guy trusts only in himself, which practically speaking is going to mean trusting in his money, not relying on anybody else. And, uh, and that's going to lead to his downfall. But the Tzadikim see themselves as, as, uh, as just part of an entire system. And that's where they're going to be uh, succeeding. Okay. I think that's good. Uh, and um, let's see, uh, there's someone else also. Was it Rabin and Yona? So he puts it in terms of, uh, of Hashem, which is a different approach than what we took. Hold on, maybe it was somewhere above. So even Kaspi. So he tries to work out the fruit uh, and uh, wait, maybe it's the Meiri. No. Okay, <laughs> Matus David cheats a little bit. He says uh, he will fall. The first guy will fall. Lo ilu lo otro, and his wealth won't help him. Val tzadikim abodim b'shem, but tzadikim who trust in Hashem, yifrachu ke'atze ha'ilan. They will sprout like the uh, like the branches of a tree, or like uh, you know the the, the branch. So he kind of changes uh, leaf to branch. I, I think it's a little bit cheating. Um, uh, okay, so let's try to work out this Yosef Kimpli here. He says, um, So his wealth will cause him to fall. Okay, Allah tzadikim yifrachu, and tzadikim will, will blossom like a leaf. So because of their good actions, they will be covered, just like the leaves cover the fruit. So in this mashal, the tzadik is the fruit, I guess, and his good actions are the leaf that protects him. As long as the fruit is on the vine, uh, then the leaf will be, uh, will be um, uh, what's the word for ra'anan? It's green, but it's like a, a verdant. Uh, what's, I don't know. It'll be like, there's a fancy nice word for it. It'll be like, uh, whatever, it'll be alive and like, like lush, lush is the word, okay? And not so fancy, okay? It'll be a uh, lush growth. Um, but when you pluck the uh, fruit, then the leaf will wither. Okay, I, I don't know if this is true, but let's just go with this premises here. This is what the Chachamim say. Atkalia, which apparently is a word for the Ashkolos Hagefen, for the, uh, the clusters of grapes. So the, the grape clusters pray for the leaves and the leaves pray for mercy on the uh, on the excuse me on the uh, grapes so in other words they both need each other because if it weren't for the clusters then the leaves would not live would not last the and were it not for the leaves then the grapes wouldn't last um, and as long as the tzaddikim are strengthening, are being strong in their good actions, um, 
he says, which are the fruit. I thought he said the leaves are the fruit. They will be protected from like the chance occurrences of, in, in time. Uh, that's like what Zach was saying. Uh, I mean, that, Zach was saying like time of adversity. Just like the fruit is covered by the leaves. So that's a different approach, right? So, so here he's saying, okay, I'm wondering if these are just two facets of the same thing. Hold on. I mean, anyone can jump in. You don't have to hold on. But uh, let's, okay, let's first write down the Sadigon one because I think that's the clearest, okay? So Sadigon is saying, is saying uh, the guy in the first half of the Pasuk trusts, oops, trusts in himself and in his own abilities, okay, which means that he will, uh, underestimate um, the chances of something, uh, uh, you know, causing him to lose his wealth and his wealth, and that will cause his downfall. Okay, but the tzaddikim don't trust in themselves, but rather they see themselves as a a very, very small part of an entire system. And the, and see, they seek the thriving of the system. Uh, and then that's when everyone else's ideas come in, which is that uh, therefore they will um, be able to weather the storm. They will um, have a stronger, uh, sorry, they will, um, they will, uh, uh, contribute to the life of the tree, right? In whatever way you say that that uh, uh, the, sorry, the tree and and its fruit, right? Um, and they will will work together to bring about the general good. So with that idea, I mean, again, I I think this is encompassing like a lot of ideas here. So what's the chiddush? Like, what's the main insight here that we that, that we see? Because we we we've thought of tzaddikim. I think both of these are both halves on their their own are very like cliche Mishle ideas. That the guy who you know puts total trust in himself is going to fall because he thinks that he's in control of everything and that's not going to work out. And we have this idea of tzaddikim, uh, you know, uh, being a uh, you know relating to the system. So what what is the what's the chiddush here? Anyone want to say? I think the Kiddush is that the two are opposites, right? I mean, I, I think that's like, uh, that's what I'm sensing here. I, I just, just kind of can't put it into words. Can you just run restate of Saudi going one more time? Beyond what I wrote? Yeah. Okay. Like, or I guess kind of like explain him one more time. Okay, I mean, so the the guy in the first half of the pasuk only trusts himself, and he and and basically he views himself as being in control of everything, right? And the way he does that is through his money, right? His money money is just a proxy for his ability, right? Is a uh, money well, with money I could do everything, but he doesn't see that either he's going to rely on money for something that it can't do, or the money itself is going to go away, you know, and therefore he's going to fall, right? That part is uh, is is the obvious part. Okay. This, the tzaddikim, though, don't trust in themselves. They, view, they don't view themselves as the root or even the trunk or the branches, but they're just like the little leaves, you know? So they're a small, small part of this entire system. And therefore, they will, um, they will you know, they have that stability because they care about the flourishing of the entire system. And uh, they are also going to work together just like leaves work together, you know, for, for the, the, the good. They'll protect the fruit, all this other good stuff. And our question is, what's the Kiddush? Yeah, Ayala? Maybe like what you're saying, that they're opposites. Like you could think that like the guy who trusts in himself, like even if you recognize that, like at the end of the day, you can't really trust in yourself because like something could mess up with you. You could think that like, okay, fine. So I'll trust myself and the system. And like, yeah, like, so I have myself, but like, fine, I'll get the system as a backup just in case like this ever falls through. But the problem is that's like, you can't do that. They're opposites. Okay. It's one or the other. Versus either in yourself or the system, and there is no in between. Okay. Yeah. Meaning what often happens 
is that like you're saying, people convince themselves that they're trusting in the system, but really that's just a, 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 a mask for their own ability. And they, um, I mean, like, you know, I know this is a, a an unfolding news story, you know, but um, like, I don't know, I don't know how many people have been watching Elon Musk on Twitter, like just like actually just watching, watching the tweets, not reading about it. It is like, he went into the whole thing. I mean, who knows why he did it, but he went into the whole thing. Um, trusting in uh in this um you know i don't want to go into this example we'll, we can talk about it later yeah okay never mind. Well, also, good. i, I yeah. feel like i kind of want to like challenge what was just said because okay. i, I kind of also want to challenge it uh but okay <laughs> zach you go first <laughs> uh, okay now, I, was, I, I feel like to say that there's no in between is the part that i want to challenge I meaning okay. i think it's possible to say that they're opposites um and that maybe at their most extreme like yeah there's you know like then you have to choose yeah. but like there is such a thing as someone on the way to tzaddik or someone on the way to russia and so where would they fall okay you know so i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring two two counter arguments okay one from the pasuk and then one from uh from a uh, uh fundamental idea in bitachon um, and, uh, I, I'm not saying that I, I'm, I'm like, um, uh, absolutely convinced of this idea. I just want to bring two counter arguments. So it is interesting that the Pusuk makes it sound like either you're someone who trusts in your wealth or you're the Tadik. So that's just something we have to take into account. But, well, well, it seems to me like they're just talking about two individuals. They're not saying that these are the only two individuals. Okay. That's true. But I, I guess what I'm saying is the fact that usually we have a Tadik and a Russia and that's what leaves the room for there to be people in the middle, you know, like people who are on their way to becoming a tzaddik or people who are on their way to becoming a rasha. This is an unusual structure where you have you have the tzaddik and then you have people who trust in their wealth. So I think there there are. I'm not, again, I'm not saying this. You have to accept this idea. I'm saying it is. I think that is a piece of evidence that could be brought from the pasuk. But then the other interesting one is. Uh, I think it's in Yemiyahu. Yeah. So um, in Yumiyahu, when it's describing another tree mushal and describing trust in Hashem, it says, Komar ad Hashem, thus said Hashem, Arur hagever asher yiftach ba'adam. Uh, cursed is the man who trusts in human beings. The sam basar zro'o, and he makes flesh his strength. Umin Hashem yasur libo. And from Hashem, he removes his heart. He'll be like a lone tree in the wilderness, and he will not see when good comes. He'll basically be like in an arid wasteland uh, that's salty and not subtle. Blessed is the one who trusts in Hashem, and Hashem is his security. He will be like a tree planted alongside uh, water. And he'll send forth its branches. Uh, sorry, it's roots. Um, uh, I forgot what that is. He will not fear, will not see or fear, I guess, depending on Creek Ziv. Uh, when the heat comes, its leaf will be uh, leaf, its leaf will be green, verdant. It will not worry in a time of drought. It will not cease uh, uh, producing, it will not wither producing fruit. Yeah. So there's, I, I forgot if the Redox says this or Avram and Rabam. Hold on, let me just check. When it says, "Cursed is the man who trusts in human beings, and makes flesh his uh, his um, uh, his his might, and removes his heart from Hashem," so he says, "Yeah." So 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 he, so it's both of them. So he says, "Umin Hashem Yisur Libo." Cursed is the man who trusts in a human being and removes his his trust from Hashem. He says, "Kiim lo Yisur Libo Me Hashem." As long as he doesn't remove his trust from Hashem, ino ra, then he's not bad. Then it's not bad if he trusts in people to help him. She has ready to help him. And as long as he has in mind that he's relying on other people uh, uh, that, who are only able to help him because God, uh, of God. In other words, in other words, like this, is it saying that when you first read the Pasuk, it makes it sound like anyone who trusts in a human being is cursed. And the Radak is clarifying and saying, no, no, no. It's if you trust only in human beings, and you remove your heart from Hashem, then you're in the in, in, the, in the category of curse. And uh, the way Avram ben Ramam expresses it, I can't pull it up right now, is he says, were it not for the Vav, then all human beings would be doomed, <laughs> okay? Uh, that if it weren't for the fact that it's saying that you're only cursed if you 
if you also remove your heart from God, then we would all just be, we all trust in human beings. Uh, I thought he says this. I thought he says like, you know, every, you know, every, uh, 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 you know, a child trusts in his parent, you know, every uh, uh, patient trusts in his doctor, you know? So it's not roundly condemning anyone who trusts in anybody. So what does that have to do with our Pasuk? So I think it could, you could say that there's no in between, but maybe just uh, change your terms here, which is that, um, that either you're trusting in, and maybe this will remove Zach's inter, um, uh, objection, either entirely in yourself, right? Like, like uh, Haman and Paro and all those other people, or you are trusting in the system, okay? I.e. Uh, your, 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 your decisions, other people, all functioning, functioning in accordance with God's will, okay, uh, which is the which, which is ultimately the, the whole thing, and there's no in between. Okay, what well, what would be an example of something in between? There well, is I'm saying there's no in between, so I can't give you an example by definition. I mean, I mean. Well, I mean, when you say there is no in between, I mean, I mean, the alternative is that, you know, I mean, the hobby meaning would be that you would trust something in between, meaning that that's what we're trying to stay away from. Is uh, it, I'm, I'm very confused right now. No, no. In other words, Literally. that you're, 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 okay. We, we are used to thinking of things as a spectrum. Okay. But here there's two absolute categories. Either you are either your trust is in yourself or it is in the system and the spectrum is when it's in the system. In other words, like, you know, you have, let's say like most of us are in a position where we recognize that God's will is the determinant of everything, but like practically speaking, we're relying on other people. And then you have like the full end of the spectrum where you're totally just relying on God, you know? Could, could, yeah. Could, I think, could we, could we flip it? Cause I feel like that reflect what you pointed out earlier in, in the Pasuk that, the absolute side is the tzaddik side because that's the terminology and the spectrum side is the other side. There's like a spectrum of how far removed you are from the absolute position of correct dependency structures. Hmm. I mean, f just for the record, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with what you just wrote. I'm just trying to understand. No, no, yeah, yeah. What... Uh, see, we said again, Zach. I'm just wondering if we can flip what's fixed and what's the spectrum, because the 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 term is in the second half, righteous. So we yeah. could say that's like the fixed, correct dependency on like God and okay. other people in the right mm -hmm. ratio. And then the spectrum is how much we all fail to do that perfectly and depend somewhat on ourselves and our wealth. Right. Yeah, see, it, let's just play this through in terms of the puzzle itself. Any degree that you partake of this, you are going to fall. You have to fall, right? Meaning in, in that degree, to that degree. To that degree, yeah, yeah, right, right. Right, like maybe the archetype, so to speak, is the tzaddik who is completely trusting in the, yeah, in whatever the system. And then to the extent that you partake of the trusting but Osho, that's the extent that you fail. Like that's where there's a, a spectrum where you're not at Sadi. Yeah. Okay. So let's is, is that I'm just trying so that's probably I'm still trying to understand. I mean, like I mean, saying, I mean, if you are if you are wealthy and uh, I mean, let's say you're you're a Sadiq who's wealthy. I mean, is that like uh any trust in your wealth? Is that is that a problem? I mean, I'm still I like, mean, it sounds like it, you right? Call? It's not, you cannot be a tzaddik, according to this puzzle, can't be a tzaddik in this sense and trust in your wealth, right? The tzaddik is trusting in Hashem and, uh, and the, anyone who's not a tzaddik is trusting in their wealth. I think the key here, Ariel, is, is the word trust. It's not talking about using wealth. It's not talking about yeah, it's having, having security. Wealth. Yeah. It's, oh, it's talking about no. where do you no. get your sense of trust and dependency right. from. Okay, so let's, let's okay, look at that then, right? Yeah. So, okay. so the tzaddik the tzaddik trusts in Hashem, right? Which in this case, uh, this is, in this case, it's all the systems uh, allegorically depicted as a tree, okay? Uh, but 
everyone else who trusts in their wealth, who takes security in their wealth, who takes security, who take security in their wealth to whatever degree they take security, they will set themselves up for a fall. Because I feel like you can't be, like you can't take full security in the system if you have some security in your wealth. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, that's the nature of security. Security is like what you're depending on. So if you're depending at all on your wealth, then uh, then you're not really trusting in, in Hashem. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to read this the way that Rabbi Yonah is saying it because he puts it in, in terms of Hashem. Um, he'll fall because of his wealth. Okay. So he quotes a passage from Kohalas, a long one. Uh, there's actually three pieces of him. I've seen an evil uh, under the sun. Wealth that was uh, hoarded by its owners for his for his own uh, detriment. That wealth was lost in some sort of like bad uh, uh, in, uh, incident. And then he has a son and the son has nothing. Basically, he doesn't have anything to provide his son. Okay. Gami is the far. Oh, that was one interpretation. Oh, hold on just a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the one I want. Okay, sorry. First one was not the one. Gami is the far. Botech ba'asho hu yipol. Kiyovat asho karega ba'onesh habitachon hazeh. So this is more like what we we're saying. That he says the uh, that um, wealth will be destroyed uh, in an instant as a punishment or consequence of this security. Asher batach, that he trusted in it with. Uh, the... He quotes the same pasuk from before. He quotes the pasuk that we're doing in the mornings. The tzadikim who trust in Hashem, Titzmach Yeshua Sam Mi Onyam Umi Sarosam. God will cause their salvation to sprout. Um, they'll be saved from their their suffering and from their their troubles. Kal Mehera quickly, like a leaf. Shuhu Memaher Lifroach Min Hapri which is quick to sprout from the fruit. And it, it, uh, it, it grows quickly. Okay, I don't exactly get that. So the, the wealthy guy will fall quickly uh, from his honor and his tranquility on account of his trust in his wealth. The tzaddik will be saved quickly from uh, due to his trust in Hashem. Yeah. I mean, I think this is our best bet for the idea. I, I still feel like it, we could be polished a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, I got to be, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry, but I didn't I, see the hands were up. Yeah, yeah, Ayala, and then we'll go to Isaiah and Yosef, yeah. I feel like an example could be like, let's say, let's say during a famine or something. Yeah. So let's say a Yosef character, instead mm -hmm. of like fully investing in, like making his thing and like collecting from people and giving it out and whatever, like he's doing that, but he also like takes 1% of everything and just like st stashes it away. Like just yeah. in case the system fails, then right. he'll have like this backup thing. Like I feel like that's what the mistake is. It's like, uh -huh. I'm not going to fully trust in the system because like I need a backup if the system fails, but right. if you're not giving your all to the system, then the system will fail because the Tzaddik is the one who gives it. Oh, and okay. that's how it so works. Why, why will it fail? Because I can think of a couple of reasons. What do you mean by it will fail? Uh, let's let's play it through in that case. I mean, I feel like first of all, your role as a sadic, like people will see you differently if they realize that you're really doing, you're not right. investing fully in the system. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I think another thing is that the guy who is trying to hoard the one thing, and this is a very fine line. I don't know if it's going to make sense when I say it. The guy who's trying to hoard the 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 uh, the one percent of it emotionally that's coming from a place where he's trying to control all factors you know and 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 the thing is is that's very very subtly different than the person who is using his mind to assess probabilities and making plans but i think that's where the bitachon comes in in other words the guy who's assessing probabilities does not have bitachon doesn't have security in this backup plan it's just a plan it could work or it could not work you know like 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 covering your bases is an entirely rational thing to do but i feel like the guy who's like you know like skimming off the side and like having like the uh you know the uh uh the the, the uh, you know the, that type of backup plan it's the security like 
if all like he's not really having conviction in the reality of uh, of of God's will in the systems. He's he's like like trying to use a trick to like it's almost like a charm. Like he's really into like a charm that can like save him. I can't quite put it into words. I, yeah. I have some. What's the wait? What's the systems? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I'm like lost there. Um, in the I have some example? examples, by the way. I don't know if it's relevant now, but you want to give an example, Zach? Um, um yeah, just to, to, I have an example that like an actual life example. Okay, sure, go ahead. Describes kind of this. Yeah, is there was a guy who had a company of like selling plastic bags, mm. and um. He, he 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 was in the process of learning and he learned about certain laws that made him question what was a standard business practice mm-hmm. um so he asked his rabbi he's like you know in our industry we stay on the box it's 100 bags in the box but it's pretty standard that you do like 97 98 bags that's just the industry standard it's like 100 means 97 98 mm-hmm. um and i'm wondering if that's a problem and you know his rabbi was like yeah that's a problem um and so said you know what should i do to correct it so he's like you know you have to put in some extra bags so you know just to to pay back the public or whatever so he put in 102 103 bags per box and this was him basically changing his framework to to like i care about the system Mm -hmm. and there's no like immediate benefit to me i'm just gonna put in extra boxes extra bags in the box and sort of say you know take responsibility for the system as a whole and eventually i mean i think he did that for many years but eventually some years down the line um some journalists did like uh an investigation on bags and boxes or whatever (laughs) and published an article saying you know you're getting skimmed by every single brand except for this one they Uh give two bags extra Uh and so like his business like took like flourished because Uh all the angry consumers just moved to his his brand yeah um what in that allegory is the system so i think the system is the is 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 the response essentially the fact that they're is a journalist and the fact that there are consumers that are reacting to you and it's it's the the thing that makes you succeed and fail like all of that like the fact that he was taking from the system or all the people that he originally like stole those one or two bags from and then by paying it back to the system that's everybody um you know when you know the system which was the um, you know s- still the journalist brought it to light the system, which is now all those consumers reacted. Um, yeah, to, I, I, you know, yeah, you know. I hear what you're saying. I'm actually going to make an executive decision. Uh, uh, let's do a, a call on Isaiah and Yosef. I think I want to end this year because speaking of systems, and, and this is, it's annoying. For some reason, the older I get, then uh, when uh, the clock changes, it really affects me. I really hit my 930 like shutdown. I just can't think anymore. Um, so I really want to, uh, bring it to a close. We can always discuss in the Mishlei after, uh, after party chat of, uh, I, I like, I, my mind is just a blank now. So, uh, speaking of blank, so, <laughs> Isaiah, go ahead. <laughs> um, so yeah. I actually had a different idea for what the Chiddush could be in Sajion. Okay. So, yeah. Um, sorry. You I guess we'll the yeah. Oh, you're already there. All right. The, oh, do you want the English? English, English? Actually, yeah, the English thing yeah. is better. Um, so maybe the Kiddush is that you might, you so you might know that um, like like the Tzadikim, they have a different system that they trust in, whereas people who trust in their wealth, you know, they might not something might happen and they might, you know, if they lose their wealth, they fall. But I think the Kiddush is that um, Tzadikim actually like can't fall because you know even if they lose their wealth, they that isn't like falling to them. They right. are the, to them the system is a thing that's eternal and can never fall. Yeah. So, um, so the finish is like that for them anything is like a good like you know they're always going to be able to continue working in the system. Okay, that's good. I think we said something like that earlier, but that that's really good for Sadiqim. For Sadiqim, uh, it's not a fall because the tree is eternal. Yeah.
Okay, Yosef, did you want to say something else, or that was just you were going to ask? I was uh, just confused on what we meant by this. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, ordinarily, I would uh, sum this up. I'm just I uh, I just got hit like a uh, a ton of tired. So uh, I think I'm gonna uh, let, let's uh, let's call it a night. And uh, still more to think about. Um, still more to think about. Let's let's make an effort to like discuss this uh, on the uh, on the chat. I, I I really do want to try to get this one clear because it's a really weird puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.